What's up, ladies and gents? We're in the Task Cam studio today. Control room out. Turn the aircons on. You don't want to stop overheating, especially if you're that good of a producer like me. You're not funny, bro. Was it? This is not, not meant to be funny, it's just the truth. You want to turn your desk on. It has an interface it has within it, so I only have to turn on the desk and then the computer. Let's wait for the desk to start off. Turn on the computer. And then the speaker. When us audio engineers aren't crying in the shower. Pro Tools is industry standard, so. Pressing the arrow keys to avoid sound parade issues with the test cam death. Alright, now let's get a Pro Tools session off. Industry standard. Industry standards. <sighs> Now we've got to make sure it's on 48 kilohertz, matching the desk. Oh, has it come with the clock issues? Now let's name this, um... Yeet! And let's save that in my folder. That is not the view we want. That's the view we want. Now let's create a new track. Audio track. That's an easy win. We want to make sure that the input is drum loop 12 or wherever you're setting up your microphone. Uh, now that, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, that one, yeah, sure. No, that's fine. Uh, now let's get a headphone, headphone signal. Uh, Alright, we've got to make sure the fan and power's on now. Alright, so we need to turn the fan and power on. Make sure it's on the mic as well. We're on track 12, so make sure it's on the mic. Turn that up a little bit. Uh, let's see if he can hear me. Joshua, can you hear me? Joshua? Yeah, man's talking. You can't hear me. I can hear you. Oh. Yeah, right. He just explains. He's Brits, man. So we're monitoring the signal. Right there. Control room level. This is the control room level right here. Joshua, can you spit us a uh, rap, please? Yo. Yeah. Gangster, gangster. As you can see, the overall volume is being changed yeah. as I turn this knob. What do you mean to say? Just keep talking. I wanted you to spit a rap, and you disappointed us all. Yeah, I know, I can't. <laughs> can you hear yourself? Yeah, no, I can't. You can't hear yourself? In the shoe stand. Yeah, yeah I, can hear, I can see you in here as well. Can you hear yourself, Joshua? I sure can. <laughs> We just got a headphone send going, so our rapper here can now hear himself as he raps. Can you please confirm this, uh, Joshua? Can you please uh, tell the audience? Yo. Oh. Yeah, it's quite loud. Yeah, yeah you can hear yourself. You're a scumbag. Bullshit. The way with too many steps. And now we're going to do the headphone send by sending it through the desk first. I don't know why you would do it this way, but, you know, whatever. Let's do it. First thing we do, send it to desk 1025. Easy win. 
go to our channels right here, 25 and 48. Turn that off to zero. We all goods in the hoods right here. Then go to module sure. aux boss aux one, and then let's test it. Once that goes to that, that will go to the pre sonus, and the pre sonus will send it to HPA mix in drum booth one. If you can see that right there, all to A, and then that's the amount sending. Now let's test to see if it worked. Can you hear yourself, Joshua? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yes, you can. Wonderful. Now let's add EQ and dynamic processing to the signal. Joshua, can I just get you to hum um, slightly, just to give me a signal? Can you, can you keep humming, Joshua? It's too warm so you can hear it. You don't need to do that for compression. Just hang on. As you, as you can see, yeah, we have... Yeah, the, the compressor's working now, I'm adjusting the output and it's affecting the volume of his voice. That's heavy compression right there. Okay, now let's test the EQ on the scene. So from the dynamics, is which what we were in, from the dynamic screen, you want to just press on the EQ tab. Right now we have um, a high shelf. Right now we're affecting the amount, as you can see. No, I'm just trying to talk about this. You know what I mean? Like, gonna get this. As you can see, the equalizer is affecting the signal. We're just yeah. boosting large amounts yeah. of frequency content. That's it. There we go. You know, just, just chill stuff like that. Change the... Make the peak a little bigger. Good for surgical EQ, stuff like that. You know how we do up in this. It's like I'm a rhythm DJ. <laughs> Initial stand. Right, let's turn those off. Now I'll show you how to do effects. Now we're gonna put a. And now we're gonna put effects on the signal. So let's first go to our aux bus. We were just an EQ. Go to aux. 9 and 10, 11 and 12, turn them up. Note, these are the panning. Do not do that thinking that you're affecting the volume. I've made that mistake, do not worry. Once those are up, we then go to the aux sends. Put these two up. And then to the returns. Now this is where I have the reverb. As you can clearly see, the reverb is affecting the signal. That's just how They're always 100% wet. Now, we shall add another effect. So we go back to the effects. <laughs> And we shall go down to the delay. Now from effect one, we go to effect two, press that. And now we shall choose our effect. I don't know what that is. Let's try that. Ooh, a little distortion. how you add effects and become a rhythm DJ. See, already good. It's 
how you do it. And now we shall record the signal. Start that again. That's fat. If we've recorded it, go to door, change that to door main output, and let's see. And we've recorded it. Yeah, I guess that was cool. Thanks for watching. Is that it? We're all good to go? Can we leave now? Yep.